Well, it's the day after Thanksgiving. We got Maverick and Gibby and Marley and Dakota and Jeb. Who we got over there? Zoe and Dango and Dizzy and Michelle and Ozzy and Daisy. Who else we got? I think I said Dixie already. Big Dixie we call. Maverick. And there's Oliver trying to play with the Greyhound. And I think this one's name is Takati. Takati's not used to getting sniffed by other dogs. So it doesn't like to be sniffed by other dogs. So it kind of kind of shows its teeth. Just a little bit of a growl, nothing too bad. Kind of a little snap here and there, but nothing bad. So I'm letting everybody sniff before I let the doggy go loose. Anyone else out here? I know. I thought Dandy was out here. Dandy! Dandy's on the log. Hi, Dandy! <laughs> when you see Dandy, you can go, well, I didn't think Dandy jumped over the fence. But Dandy can jump up on the log. King of the log, king of the log. Look at me, mom. I'm on top of the world. <laughs> yeah, we're into the sunlight, hard to see. But we might get the races going on. Because Zoe's one of our fastest dogs. And Ozzy, you behave yourself, you're going in solitary. Ooh, that was great, Joe. This is what I love about the dogs running. Come on, Zoe! <laughs> Maverick is using his brute, brute force. He can't keep up to Zoe. So it's like he catches up. <laughs> this is good for Maverick. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? <laughs> See, as I'm videotaping here, someone got too close to this one here, and that's what you heard. So I quickly gave it a little uh, correction on the leash. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, there you are! <laughs> <laughs> if you call, if you ever hear me calling Maverick a doofus, that is why. <laughs> oh, look at that! <laughs> you showed a, you showed Maverick, Zoe. Little aspirin, aspirin, aspen. This is what I love, folks. This is this is it, man. This is NASCAR for Farmer Paul. Let's hope we don't have any major pit stops or crashes and burns. Oh, here's the pit stop. They're all in for a water break. Well, it was only less than five minutes, and they're all getting a water break. Well, they were running around a little bit before I started.
Hey, Abby. I saw Zoe run around. I was thinking of a running back. I remember saying uh, to your owners that you were the running back. I think uh, Abby's getting a little tired. Abby was our famous running back from two, three years ago. She'd run all over the place. Come on, Abby. What's up? You getting to be old? You don't like the camera? Hi, Abby. Hi. <laughs> Dog, you think that's a baby crying, but that's a one of the little goats. All right, who are we gonna end on? You showing? Look at see, this is what I'm talking about. See how the lips go up a little bit there? Like oh, 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 tail down between the legs in there. Look at that. All right, but watch how easy this is. Down. Very submissive. Very submissive, all the way down. You got a little. See, the leash is loose. Dogs just gotta understand. They're just coming over to sniff. It's okay. They're not gonna hurt me. Hurt you. Okay, up. Come on. Sometimes it takes two, three days just to get used to everything. But see, none of the dogs are interested in fighting. None of the dogs are interested in like attacking this doggy. So this doggy needs to get over it. Like they're gonna sniff you, but that's okay. It's not like anyone's dragging you out on the dance floor. They're just talking to you. I call you my wallflower. You just ha hang out around the fence. Fence flower. Other dogs would come up and try to talk to you and say, you want to go out and dance? And you go, yeah, leave me alone. Kind of that cranky girl at the uh, dances that doesn't want to be there. They got forced to be there. Or cranky guy. I shouldn't be so sexist, I guess. <laughs> Oh, we heard the gate, huh? Our ears all perked up. Heard the gate. All right, see how you do now. I'm your security blanket, huh? But trust me, no one's gonna bother you. Dogs are gonna come up and they're gonna say hi, and you don't have to be so mean to them, like saying, oh, get away from me. See that? They just ran right past you. Yeah, you see a human. You wanna go next to the human. You're finding your security, see that? Your whole attitude perked up a little bit. You saw Michelle, and you said, oh, I wanna go to her. Ollie, Ollie. Got a good group of dogs. I'll call their name and they come off. Maverick's a big doofus, but I call him, he'll come off. Maverick, Maverick. Don't prove me wrong here when I tell how good you are. You may be a big doofus, but you'll pull off. And Ozzy, you've been doing really good. Maverick. Zoe, give him some space. JD.
the, the dogs like going to that corner and looking at the animals. So you're standing in the wrong corner there, Takati. Takati. Tanaka. I'm not sure. Hey, hey, Gibby. Maverick. See a lot of these dogs. <laughs> give me, give me, give me spot. Maverick, I can say. I get some of these. I got one I call Jap Dog, and I know disrespect, but it's a Japanese dog, and it has a Japanese name, and I'm like, so I guess I should be saying Japanese dog, a soul Japanese dog. Ozzy. See, this is what I call, when I say a, wall, a fence flower. Kind of moves along the fence, moves around, sniffing all the other dogs. All the dogs will pee and poop along the fence line. So what's happening is it's sniffing all the other dogs. That's its way of being able to socialize and sniff because it won't go up to the other dogs. It has not gone up to the other dogs and sniffed the other dogs' butts. So that's what I look for when I bring them out on the leash. You know, first of all, they'll let the other dogs sort of sniff them, and then they'll start sniffing the air and sniffing towards a dog. And next thing you know, they've got their nose up a dog's butt sniffing. Well, this dog did not do that. That tells me I'm going to have some issues. Zoe, Maverick, come on. Oliver. Oliver. <laughs> You're a cutie. Come here. You're a cutie. <laughs> I know. It's okay. Hey, hey, hey. Shh. It's okay. It's all right. All right. I'm going to put this one in the in the yard. This is a good chance that everyone's got to see. Come on. Put your head up. Let's go on the leash now. Let's go. We're up to 13 minutes now. So I'll just put, uh... Michelle, help me with the name of this dog. Takani. Uh, I'm thinking Takati. I don't drink beer, but you know, Takati's good, I guess. <laughs> I got one dog named Bud Light, so... <laughs> I'm waiting for a Corona. Hey, if I get a Corona, I can ask the dog to change its uh, latitude. <laughs> yeah, we need to sit at the gate. Thank you. Sit all the way at the gate. Ouch, I hit my head. All right, sit again. All right. Look at that. I'm in solitary confinement and all stressed out with all the other dogs. You guys are all good doggies. You did good. You tried to help the newcomer. I have a hard time opening my own gate. You guys tried to help the newcomer overcome its fears. And Daisy, boy, you're, you've been good, huh? Wow. And Ozzy, what is this? Everyone's thankful to be here at Farmer Paul's Country Oaks Bed and Biscuit Inn. Who else usually gives me a little bit of an attitude? Who else is in here? You? And you? And you? <laughs> Not Michelle. <laughs> Michelle's gonna walk the perimeter here. Look at this. She's gonna walk it, and I do the talking. She does the walking, I do the talking. <laughs> oh, we're at the time. Country Oaks Bed and Biscuit Inn, where there's always room at the end for your good doggy. Farmer Paul, signing off.